Hey everyone, this is Ross and today I just thought I'd make an update on the 15 gallon aquarium since I put Seachem Black Fluorite sand in 3 days ago. I actually uploaded the video to YouTube uh, 2 days ago but I replaced the substrate 3 days ago, that's when I recorded it so yeah it's been 3 days and probably the most noticeable difference is the clarity of the water. When I first replaced the substrate the water was a lot more cloudy and you couldn't really see it into the back of the tank. Now you can see the java fan in the back and you can see the heater and the airstone and stuff so um, yeah it's cleared up quite a lot. It still isn't crystal clear, there's still some dust in the water but um, the filter floss has taken that out so uh, give it 3 or 4 days and it should be completely clear. I might do an update in 3 more days just to show you the water. Um, but overall I love the new sea chem black fluoride sand, um, the cory catfish probably love it more than me. Um, the cory cats um, have just been digging in it non-stop. Uh, they've all stopped at the minute because I'm talking, I've probably scared them, but they really do love it. And the shrimps, uh, the Yamano shrimps have been sifting through it all day as well, they absolutely love it too. So it's a great new addition to the tank. Uh, I noticed when I was planting some new plants today, um, it made minimal mess, there was hardly any mess came up, absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, not a lot really changed in the tank other than I've replaced the substrate, um, but I did get uh, two new plants today, well two new species. I got Rotella rotundifolia, there and there. It looks kind of like Ludwigia, but... Um, it's a bit different, it's a stem plant, kind of circular leaves and Dustin's Fish Tanks talks about uh, Rotella a lot so I thought I'd get something to try out and I'm actually really pleased with the appearance of it, it just looks so nice. I'm actually considering replacing the Ludwigia with Rotella. If the Rotella grows well and if it gets a nice red tip to it, I might replace the Ludwigia but I'll see about that. Um, the other new plant I got today actually got two, um, or two red tiger lotuses, there's one and there's the other red tiger lotus. Um, I actually only thought I was buying one red tiger lotus because I only bought one pot but when I actually took the mineral wool off um, there was actually a tiny little baby red tiger lotus in with it so I was really pleased about that, I got two for the price of one um, so yeah I'm really pleased with it and um, I absolutely love the colour of it. It didn't look like much in the store, but my uh, fluorescent lighting has got a slight purple tint to it, so it really brings out the red colour in it, and it almost looks fluorescent, the actual plant. I wish I could show you on the camera, but um, yeah, it just looks great in first hand. Uh, the Ludwigia on the right hand corner, it, it's very small, hasn't grown yet. Uh, but in one to two weeks it should have grown to a quarter of the height of the tank and the tank will look a lot better then. It does look a bit silly at the minute but when it grows in it will look a lot better. Um, so overall I'm really pleased with how the tank's turned out. And now I'll just bring you in for a closer look at the new plants. I'll show you the Rotella rotundifolia and the two red tiger lotuses. Okay, so this is the Rotella. I've got two small bunches of it there. And I've got uh, quite a lot of it back there. It uh, goes behind the Java Fern and it goes into the Ludwigia. But uh, I really like it. It's got a slight pinkish tint uh, to the underside of the leaves. I'm not sure if you can make that out. And it's a really bright green, which I love. Um, it kind of matches in with the uh, Hygrophilia just behind it. And the dwarf sarge is a bright green as well, so it really matches in well, and it's a nice addition to the tank. Um, I mentioned if this grows really well and it looks nice, then I might actually replace the Ludwigia with it. I'm thinking about selling the Ludwigia and just replacing it with Rotella, because I, I love it so much. But um, it might not grow very well, it probably will, but if it doesn't grow very well, then I'll just keep the Ludwigia. But... As I mentioned, it's a really nice plant and I love it. Okay, so these are my two new red tiger lotuses. 
I mentioned I only bought one pot and I expected that I'd only get one plant out of it but I was actually surprised by getting two plants. Uh, this is the main plant, it's quite large, it's got four broad leaves and the one down here is smaller but it still has four leaves so hopefully it should grow as big as the other one and I hope to let this one grow to, to about half the height of the tank and then continuously trim it to keep it at that height so it's like a, an underwater bush and the one to, to the left of the, the smaller one I hope to keep that one slightly smaller than the one on the right um, the reason why I planted them so close is just because I think it looks a little better I like to keep uh, species in groups um, of their own species because if I'm mixed and matched uh, where I put the plants, if I spread out the Ludwigia, I spread out the Dwarf Sarge and I spread out all the plants in here it wouldn't look very nice so I've kind of grouped them together in the attempt to make it look quite nice and I hope I've succeeded but um, I hope you're picking up the, the brightness of the colour um, you're probably not but in first hand the colour of them actually looks fluorescent it's just so beautiful and um, my fluorescent lighting actually enhances the red colour of fish and plants so I think that's why it looks so nice it just looks absolutely beautiful I'm so happy with it uh, someone actually suggested that I get a red tiger lotus quite a while back I'm sorry I forgot who it was if it was you please leave a comment and um, I'll give you a shout out um, but I didn't really want to try them out and do it because the root system is quite large and if I was to try and pull them up it would make a huge mess but since I've got this cleaner substrate um, I thought I'd try them out so yeah they look absolutely great and they contrast nicely with the, with the cardinal's blue colour and um, yeah I'll keep you updated on the tank three, uh, in three more days I'll do another update on the substrate just to tell you how it's clearing up so if you like this vid then please leave a nice comment please tell us your thoughts on the new plants and how the tanks actually clearing up and um, please like the video it helps us out a lot and um, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks a lot. Bye.